Nothing has changed the world like computers. Today, almost everything is digitised. Politics, law and order, the military, the power grid, telecommunications and even our transport system. Yet, this presents a distinctly asymmetric threat to our day-to-day -day life, as we have no way to effectively secure these computerised industries from a cyber attack which has the potential to take our government presence on the internet, steal millions, extort governments, immobilise military power and plunge entire cities into darkness. And not only is this all possible, it has all actually happened. It's now clear this cyber threat is one of the most serious economic and national security challenges we face as a nation. The worst case scenario is an attack on our uh, networks that would take down critical infrastructure, something that took down our power grid, or something that took down our air traffic control system, or one of our critical defense systems. Something like that would paralyze the country, could cause loss of life, would cause enormous economic damage, and would be very difficult to restore uh, in a short period of time. Cyber security is a field in its infancy, yet it is being pursued by governments the world over. Concerned with protecting computer systems from attack, it has become more and more important in our digital age. The evidence, whilst not presented widely in the mainstream media, is frightening. In one day in 2007, hackers were able to steal the digital equivalent of 12 million books from the Pentagon. CIA and FBI, in the 2008 Russian invasion of Georgia, distributed denial of service attacks, disabled the government and the military's presence on the internet, Operation Avenge Assange, perpetrated by the internet group Anonymous, used DDoS attacks to shut down Visa, PayPal, Amazon, Mastercard and the website of Sarah Palin, and in an unknown date, a sophisticated global crime ring was able to steal US $10 million from banks around the world, all without a trace. I've seen uh, attacks where there's been $10 million lost in one 24-hour period. So this is not something that's terribly new, but I think the volume uh, and especially the commercial targets that we're seeing now um, in, in regards to a political event, this is something that is new. These attacks have already posed threats to the stability of national and international bodies. However, as the internet grows up, the attacks will become more sophisticated, and it is only a matter of time before terrorist groups learn to use the internet to indiscriminately attack the welfare and livelihood of civilians, and full-scale cyber attacks occur between nations, the aim to destroy vital infrastructure. Defending against traditional cyber attacks, such as hacking, is difficult outside of government departments and can be extremely destructive, as demonstrated by US researchers. ...of how they could have destroyed an oil refinery by sending out code that caused a crucial component to overheat. The first thing you would do is turn it to manual control so that your automatic controls aren't protecting you. What would be your main oh, target uh, here? The heating element and the recirculator pump. If we could uh, malfunction both of those, we could cause an explosion. How would you do that? The first thing we had to do was uh, actually gain access to the network. And that's, we've just got that as launch attack. And then we turn up the BTUs. And then we're turning off the recirculator pump. Uh, there we go. How realistic is this? It's very realistic. Despite this, Distributed Denial of Service, or DDoS, has recently been the most destructive, primarily because of its sheer versatility, usability, and the difficulty of defending such an attack. A DDoS attack essentially involves many computers swamping a website with illegitimate visitors, as demonstrated here. Thus, no legitimate visitors can get in. Significantly, there are very few methods to determine illegitimate visitors 
so defence against a DDoS attack is far more difficult. And as the internet proliferates throughout the world, the world must respond to the consequent dangers posed by frequent cyber attacks. Fundamental steps must be taken at the highest level, the United Nations, to understand and promote methods of defending cyber attacks. Several courses of action should be taken by the United Nations in order to mitigate this growing threat. The establishment of a Convention for Cyber Security, as proposed by a senior Russian diplomat, would be a positive first step to reducing the destructiveness of cyber attacks. In addition, research must be carried out into creating methods of defence against cyber attack, with the United Nations at the forefront. Without a distinctly international response from what is a distinctly international problem, the world will lack the cohesion to effectively defend against cyber threats. Led by the United Nations, the world community can ensure that the proliferation of the internet does not result in an insecure, anarchic digital environment and can level the playing field when it comes to dealing with cyber threats.